Growing up swimming in the lake can get your mind racing. Brushing up against some seaweed or brushing up against a giant monster. Ah! Ooh. Okay. I'm your host, Comic Waters, and this is the top five mysterious creatures found in forbidden lakes. Hmm. Number five, Lake Michigan. Okay, so this is not a totally forbidden lake per se, but many of the times out of the year it is. The second largest of the five great lakes in North America and the most vicious. This huge body of water sits between Wisconsin, Illinois, Indiana, and Michigan and is a bolstering thousand feet deep. That's a lot of room for creatures to be just lurking around. Dinosaurs of the Great Lakes have been an inspiration for hundreds of years. The First Nations people of North America, predominantly the Ojibwe, Chippewa, and Huron peoples, were the first to inhabit the surrounding lake and they have seen and heard some pretty disturbing things over the years. Due to its ferocious currents, the lake is officially off limits multiple times during the year and can result in tickets and fines if caught. With the 4th of July weekend just behind us, we can clearly see how the beach closures and off limit areas mark the unsafe fast flowing water this time of the year. And although this lake is swimmable, the deepest parts of it are certainly not for the weakest of doggy paddlers. Just in 2021 alone, the lake took 53 people's lives, which sad to say is a record in itself for the least amount of people lost. And on average, about 100 people drown each year on Lake Michigan. Though the rapids are a danger in itself, the creepy stuff comes from what swims beneath. Stories and myths have been passed down generation to generation, but the consensus of the lore surrounding the Great Lake is of its monsters both under and above the water. Plesiosaurs, sea serpents, or just Sturgeon. Sturgeon can grow up to 300 pounds and are a local to the Great Lakes, regularly mistaken for monsters such as Bessie, Lake Erie's lake monster. These fish are often mistaken for spiky dinos. The great sturgeon of Loch Ness in Scotland is the inspiration behind Nessie and the Loch Ness monster herself. Or so it seems. And of course not only under, but on top. Along its shores there have been sightings of some pretty weird stuff as well. Bigfoots and human hybrid creatures have been seen and documented here for thousands of years. Yikes. Yetis and dinosaurs, huh? Yeah, that's safe to say. Not only should you avoid the water and swimming completely, just avoid the beach as well, huh? Number four, Natron Lake. This next one is a bit of a trap, literally. Not only is this lake forbidden at all times to swim and drink in, even the air around it makes it for harsh camping. Lake Natron, located in Tanzania, East Africa, is a strange body of water as it's one of the most toxic and dangerous lakes in the world. This stunning, shallow, saline lake is a deadly one with disturbingly high levels of natron, which is sodium carbonate decahydrate. Eek, nasty stuff. And due to the millions of years of basically brining and preserving everything it touches, this has allowed the lake to concentrate into a caustic, toxic nightmare. Yo. Basically, it just pickles everything and turns it into stone. Okay, I see now. A real life Medusa. Lake. I would just be mid air in a cannonball, frozen in time forever. Cannonball! Uh uh. Terrifying. Takes more than just a look to turn to stone, however. The water and the air mixed together is what gives this lake the preserving feature. You wouldn't just come out a rock, you would have to kind of just sit there for a while in the same spot while the compound breaks you down. Yeesh. The beautiful stills of all of the creatures frozen in time, bound by art, are alluring and elegant, yet sinister in its effect. It's a gentle reminder to all around that although it looks inhabited and full of thriving fauna, the gargoyle statues left behind is a message in itself. Mother Earth has a weird way of making some of the most beautiful and enticing things the most deadly, I'd say. Three, Neos Lake. Much like Lake Natron, this next lake is also known for its deadly liquid and off-limits swimming. Lake Neos is located in Cameroon, West Africa, and is the inspiration for films like Volcano with Pierce Brosnan. Its location is a terrifying surprise in itself, right on top of an active crater. Perfect. Lake Neos sits in a crater on the edge of an active volcano in the Oku Volcanic Field, and not only is this lake forbidden due to its chemicals above the water, pools of magma lie only 80 kilometers below its surface. Imagine snorkeling looking down at that hot magma? <gasps> we gotta go! Eventually, the gas becomes too concentrated and huge bubbles of CO2 burst from the lake and being above all that magma, it releases toxic levels of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere and that's exactly what happened. In 1986, the lake recorded an explosion that claimed the lives of countless amounts of people and animals in the surrounding area. A silent, invisible killer bubbled off the surface and down the hills surrounding the lake, taking the lives of nearly everything in its path. Sadly, scientists would only discover its cause months later. The cloud of carbon dioxide Oxide rose out of the lake and flooded into the valley below at more than 100 kilometers per hour. The suffocating gas killed nearly 1,800 people and approximately 3,500 in livestock and countless amount of species in birds and insects. <sighs> P.U. Silent but deadly. 
You know when insects can't dodge it that it's really bad. Although to this day there's no official evidence of anything living and or swimming in the lake, the locals claim to see things moving on its still surface from time to time, which in itself is a horrifying claim. So not only could there be creatures living in this toxic sludge made out of who knows what, but that the rustling of the surface water could mean yet another deadly explosion. Active or not active? You tell me. Number 2. Boiling Lake Located in the islands of the Dominica and considered one of the world's heritage sites, Boiling Lake in Montreux Pittens National Park is a hot topic to say the least. A subtle four mile hike through the jungles of man made paths sits this earthly anomaly. After a strenuous hike through thick flora sits this mysterious bowl of water known solely as the Boiling Lake. The second largest boiling lake in the world, this is not to be confused with a hot spring as its waters are sweltering and in the middle of the lake actually boiling. It's basically a giant breathing vent under the earth's crust and releases hot vapors through its fumarole and heats the body of water to literally a boiling point. Travelers are reminded not to be enticed by the refreshing blue grey water after the difficult hike up as jumping in it to cool off would result in a chef's feature soup. Behind hot soup! I said behind! The name from its well boiling nature is one of the hottest natural lakes in the world with a temperature topping 90 degrees celsius around the outside alone and in the middle who knows how hot. Although it's impossible to slip into, it's too hot to handle and is unfortunately restricted all year round. The people of Dominica once believed due to the heat of the water that this could be the opening of hell itself or the mouth of the underworld. Claims that the albaca, a shape shifting devilish creature that makes deals on behalf of the devil has been known to congregate in areas of high spiritual meaning like this one. And due to the haze and fog and humidity, the visuals can become distorted, especially at night. Uh, is that dad or is that a mist monster? I don't know. Although no tourists have actually claimed to see any creatures stirring around or swimming beneath the humid hot pool, it makes a great birthplace for story and myth and holds a high significance among the locals. No hot tea monster, huh? Okay. No soup monster either? Yeah? Okay. Right. Just wondering. We tried. And coming in at number one, Groom Lake. This one's an obvious one and I left it for number one as I feel it's the most interesting of lakes and I personally think it's home to a number of mysterious creatures. Aliens. <laughs> Groom Lake located in Nevada is home to, well, no lake. A salt flat now, as it's been dry for quite a while, considered to be one of the most secure and off limits military bases in the world. You can't even visit here to see it yourself. Travelers can come close to its perimeter however, but with the armed guards and warning signs that states very clearly the punishment if breached, needless to say, is very off limits. Built somewhere around 1955, there is much mystery and lore surrounding this famous base. The home of the famous Storm Area 51 movement in 2019, this place is claimed to be home to a couple different creatures. It's believed that the famous crash site of 1947 in Roswell, New Mexico resulted in material and bodies recovered and shipped during the middle of the night to Groom Lake. Although the government and US military claim that this base is strictly a military research base, it is commonly related to UFO and aliens due to the high strangeness heard and seen there. The base is completely off grid and is the apparent site to test planes and underdeveloped technology. Some claim that they have seen orbs, UFO motherships, alien hybrids working on planes alongside humans, and a number of paranormal activities. Can you pass me a Phillips, please? Thank you. No. Thank you. It is said to hold different races of aliens such as the greys, the reptilians, and the tall whites. It is subject to a variety of spy planes developed over the years and is said to be the birthplace of the future of technology. Not allowed to go there, see it, or even talk about it. Yeah, there's definitely aliens there. At least it seems like everyone's getting along, that's good. Famous claims by people like Bob Lazar, a scientist and propulsions expert, caught media attention in the early 90s claiming that he had worked there and worked on UFO vehicles himself trying to reverse its technology. Numerous pilots and scientists have also claimed to have worked alongside aliens for years and apparently have the key cards, clearance and proof to show for it. Its reputation has grown over the years, revered and feared and remains forbidden. What do you think? Hoax? or underground alien facility. Forbidden lakes, forbidden creatures, and forbidden places. Seems like this world just gets weirder and weirder by the day, huh? I've been your host Kyle McWaters, and until next time, let's stay spooky.